charging my phone off of the Blue Eddy as we speak. All right, folks, just want to talk about my Blue Eddy AC50S. Got it right here. Let me point this camera down so you can see. All right, so I got this thing in, uh, what is it, Mission, Mission Black or Mission Dark, I forgot what it's called, Mission Darkness uh, EMP bag. Thing is pretty nice, wasn't cheap. So I'm able to keep all of the attachments, extra cords, all that good stuff in here. And again, this is an EMP proof bag. pretty sweet I've been using this thing for uh, a few months now I've been using the crap out of this thing um, it's got four USBs plus this little smaller USB which I haven't used that port yet I don't, I'm not sure I have anything to plug in there um, two AC ports a 12 volt and two more uh, 12 volts these uh, I believe this is 700 watt and it has a 300 watt uh, inverter inside it built in. Um, should be fully charged. You got your DC AC buttons. You got a grab handle, folds up, which is nice. Another nice thing is this thing is square, flat, so if you put it in your car or camper, you know, it's not going to take up a heck of a lot of space. Um, it's got a very small footprint. And you can charge your phone by laying it right on the top here. And uh, I've been using the crap out of this thing. Um, I've been keeping it right next to where I sit a lot of times. Um, you know, charging the phone, charging my cordless drills and batteries and stuff like that. And it, uh, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it at the moment. Um, it's been really good. In fact, I kind of miss it already because I'm keeping it in the EMP bag right now. Um, because I, I didn't really think I had a need for something like this, but, um, I, I'm trying to foresee, uh, uses if we had like a major power outage or something like that. And what I could tell you right now is, um, I think this is a game changer in the, uh, scheme of preparation. Here, I propped it up so you can see it a little bit better. And see my beautiful face on the back side here you got a light I believe the buttons on this side I didn't pull the protective thing off there yet let's do that now why not What's going on there all right so it's not overpowering or anything like that oh it's probably pretty good for being inside a tent or back of a truck or something like that but anyway trying to foresee some uses for this thing and um, I can really see using this thing more so like when we're boondocking in the camper things like that um, but even right now I mean just like quickly charge up your phone or I, I want to say I got like I don't know about 10 charges out of my phone on this thing 
um, before I had to start to charge it. But I, I was able to recharge quite a quite a few things. But the great thing about it is it's silent. Um, a lot of people are buying the bigger ones, and they're actually running small shops with them. Um, fluorescent lights, LED lights, things like that. Um, instead of having to run power out to these sheds and garages and stuff like that. So it's so a pretty, uh, pretty handy thing to have, I think. Um, imagine if power's out for, you know, weeks and weeks, maybe months, and, you know, you could charge this thing up uh, several different ways. You can, you can uh, one of the ways is with the solar panel, which when I bought this, I got the solar panel with it. Um, I'm going to open that up in a second. I got it in a box over here. But uh, being able to charge this up with the sun, and it charges relatively quickly, um, I'm going to do a test on that at some point. I didn't do it yet, but from the reviews that I've seen, it, they do charge up quite, a, quite quickly. Um, so I think this is just another addition to being a force multiplier in a, say, a grid down situation or something like that. Um, but so far, two thumbs up. Let's go grab this solar panel. Taking this thing out for the first time. Uh, surprisingly, this has a little bit of weight to it. Um, Bluetti did do a real nice job packaging this whole thing. This box is actually the box that the Bluetti came in. And um, I was pretty surprised. It was a box inside a box. And I mean, even if this thing took a fall. I think it would have been been all right. So so far, the company seems to be a quality company. All right. I'll just toss that down there. It's got a book there. Who needs a book? I don't need a book. So here, let's slide this thing. Move it side a little bit. So here it is. So I believe this one folds out four times. Uh, it's got two little clips here. I'll use a push button. Yep. You got your little pouch here. Have to assume this is for the cordage. Sure enough, here's your cords. Looks like uh, probably about a 10 footer, maybe eight or 10 footer. And it's already plugged in right here inside. Oops, gotta watch out. I already unstrapped this. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is just yet. We'll figure that out in a minute. You know what? The quality of this thing is better than what I expected. Here, I'll fold this out three times here. But it folds out four ways, just like that there. It feels pretty rugged. It doesn't feel cheesy at all. Pretty nice. All right, so let's see here. So it's got straps on three of the four thing, four panels. We'll have to figure out. I don't know if you just lay it out, lean it up on something, but boy, it, um, this is actually nicer than I expected. To be honest with you, um, it's pretty compact. Uh, folding up four ways here. I mean, that's that's not very very big probably weighs six pounds maybe something like that but I can't wait to do a test on this 
And now the charging point port on this uh, Bluetti here is on the back next to the light. Well, the light switch is on one side and uh, the input power is on the other side. There you have that. Pretty nice. So I think this is a pretty good combination here. So we'll give this thing a little more testing. Um, I guess I don't know too much more to say about it at the moment, but I wanted to show you. And uh, obviously I'm keeping it in this uh, Mission Darkness EMP bag. Um, that's because this, I don't know the effects of an EMP would have on this, uh, this battery. So th th I'm sure there's some electrical components in there that could possibly be uh, burned up or what have you if uh, it gets a surge of energy, you know. Um, so I just have a, a better peace of mind to protect the investment by putting it in the EMP, EMP proof bag. Um, it just sucks that I don't have the access to it at all times like I was doing for, for through the testing. But if something were to happen, it'd be much appreciated to have that than not have it. And um, even though, you know, cell phones would probably be useless and things like that, you still have maps on them cell phones. And I'm sure GPS will still more than likely be working due to sal satellites being so high up. Um, even if not, you have information saved on your phone. Like I have some recipes, I have um, addresses, I have several things. So I have backup phones that are saved in another EMP bag. Um, my normal cell phone I have, and I can show you right now. A little dusty, but this is an EMP proof pouch for my phone. And when I'm not using the phone, a lot of times I slip this in there. And you could still hear the, uh, like you could still use your alarm on the phone if you had to. Like I use my alarm a lot. And the alarm, will, you'll still hear it if it goes off. But when, when the phone is in this bag, you won't be able to accept calls or texts or anything like that. But it's still just the added security. I also have little EMP pouches for our key fobs. We keep keep those in there um, and they work because you can't get a signal to the car if they're in that pouch so that tells me they're working um, so you know we like to think ahead and um, prepare for the worst hope for the best adapt and overcome um, for the longest time though I thought I wouldn't have a use for something like this but I don't know the more I use it the more uh, uses I'm finding with it. So, so far so good, I like it. Um, give me a thumbs up and share the channel. So you'll see this thing in, in use in time when we go camping, boondocking, um, you know, we'll definitely be using it for smaller little projects and things like that, we'll test it out. Uh, some, some more, I wanna use, test some more of the uh, AC um, capabilities on this thing um, and in the future I'm already kind of eyeballing a bigger one I want one of the larger ones um, and then I'll, if I get the larger one I'll probably keep this one out and use the, the larger one uh, protect that so I just want to touch on the bag show you this a little bit closer um, again this is Mission Darkness I know I couldn't think of the name before but it's a uh, it's relatively rugged it's got some molly strapping on both sides so i don't know you want to you know lash something on here there's a tag for the name on the back side you have a slip in like an identification little pouch here you know an information pouch whatever you want to put in there throw your name or what have you um, the inside is lined that's what it looks like and it has a like a three i'm gonna say three inch wide velcro strap so the idea is when you put your item in here um which we actually we could throw that in here now i just gotta make sure i shut it off so i don't okay 
Okay, that's off. So we're gonna take this little fella, I'll put it right in here. And this bag is like a little overly big. But I'd rather have the extra room. I just want to sit it down in here nice. But I'd rather have the extra room in here than not. Um, like I said, I was putting putting all the spare cords that come with the Blue Eddy. That fits fits in there nice, no problem. Just shift it to the side just a smidge. There we go. All right. I put the handles back down so it won't break. But I got also got plenty of room in here to put other items in there. So it's a little bit clumsy up here, but. Um, Pull this in, give it a fold down once, and fold down twice, and just sandwich that Velcro. And that's enough to keep any EMP signal or energy signal from getting down in there. Even if it did leak a little bit, you'd still have a certain amount of protection. And you got a Velcro little little handle there, little grab handle. So that's that's pretty nice. So if, even if you had to grab it in a hurry, it's probably easier to grab it with that handle and, and start running. But uh, that's it on the Mission Darkness bag. I want to say um, that cost me about two hundred forty bucks. A um, little bit pricey, but there's some that are way more expensive and some that are less expensive, but not this size. This size uh, was the only one I could find that fit this unit decently without uh, sacrificing any, you know, spacing or, you know, it, it, it is a little bit too big, but I'd rather have it big and than too small. So it's working out good so far. Um, I'm sure we'll touch on this in the future to see how it's been working out so that's it on that so that's it for now thanks for watching there's a subscribe button right down there subscribe if you haven't already please hit the like button and share the channel because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things on this channel that uh you know, you may not like everything, but you're going to pick up something at some point. This is a prepared family, so watch it and learn. Teach others. Be kind.